The Life Cycle of a Flowering Plant The life cycle of a flowering plant is a fascinating process that begins with a seed and ends with the production of new seeds. The process is divided into several stages, each with its own set of characteristics and functions. The first stage of the life cycle is the germination of the seed. This occurs when the seed absorbs water and begins to sprout. The sprout, or seedling, will have a small shoot and a root system. The shoot will eventually grow into the stem of the plant, while the roots will anchor the plant into the ground and absorb water and nutrients. The next stage is the vegetative stage, during which the plant will grow leaves, stem and roots. This stage is critical for the plant to develop the necessary photosynthetic organs, which will allow it to produce its own food through the process of photosynthesis. The leaves absorb sunlight, while the stem and roots transport the produced food to the rest of the plant. The third stage is the reproductive stage, during which the plant produces flowers. Flowers are the reproductive organs of the plant and are responsible for producing seeds. They are usually brightly colored to attract pollinators such as bees and butterflies, who transfer pollen from the stamen of one flower to the pistil of another. Once pollination occurs, the flowers will start to form fruits, which will contain the seeds. The fruits will grow and mature until they are ready to be dispersed. This is the final stage of the life cycle, where the seeds will fall to the ground, or be carried away by animals or wind, and the cycle begins again. In conclusion, the life cycle of a flowering plant is a complex process that includes several stages, each of which plays a crucial role in the survival and reproduction of the plant. From the germination of a seed to the production of new seeds, the life cycle of a flowering plant is a beautiful and amazing process.